an attempt to get my craft room even more organized than it is, I'm going to be making a cheap and easy DIY Sharpie organizer so I can organize by color, almost like how you buy the singers in a craft store or a super wall one. So first what I'm going to do is take toilet paper or paper towel rolls and I'm going to put it in and I'm going to hold my thumb right on the edge because that's as far as, it is, as it's going to go and see how far I want it to stick out. So I think I want mine to stick out a tiny bit more so I'm going to trim off a little bit with a pair of scissors. This step is completely up to your preference of how far you want it to stick out and yeah, you they're really easy to cut with scissors. So now mine will stick out about that far. I'm also going to be using this to organize some of my brushes, my paint brushes. You can use it for color pencils, crayons, markers, anything. Um, so now my next step is going to be completely optional, but I want to have that extra step uh, to make it look nice. Um, if you choose to do this, you need to do it now uh, instead of at the end. So what I'm going to do, I don't want, even though they're going to be laying down like this and stacked in like a pyramid form, I don't want them to be able to come out from the back if they get moved in any way. So I'm going to plug up the back. I choose to use tin foil um, because you could use fabric or even duct tape, but I didn't have anything on hand that would work. Scrap or paper just kind of bunched up and made it look funny. Tissue paper worked too easily. So I'm choosing tin foil. It's loud, I'm sorry. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is take my hot glue gun and once it heats up, I think it is heated up, I'm going to put a, yeah it's heated up, I'm going to put a, ow, yep it's heated up, I'm going to put a um, thin layer of glue all around the edge here. Uh, not on the inside, not on the top, I'm just going to put it as close to the edge as I possibly can. Um, doesn't matter which edge, and then from there I'm going to just kind of put the tin foil on, and then once it's secure, I'm going to trim the tin foil after that. Um, this is really hard to work through the camera, so that's why I just described it, because I'm not going to show the hot glue work um, on camera. So while my hot glue is drying on um, before I trim it, I would just like to take a minute to say that I cannot take credit for coming out with this display idea. I did see it in somebody else's tutorial, but I am making it more advanced than they did. Um, so I'm adding my own spice to it. I would credit the person who came out with it, but I cannot find um, who they were anymore because it was a video who had quite a bit of room decor things so I'm just putting more um, of a spin on it and I am making my own I'm not copying it to an that so it is my own tutorial now and yeah so as you can see it kind of looks like when you were litter and you put like a, a paper on or can of beans or something with a rubber band or rice to make a shaker. Um, from here you could paint um, paint this or color it in with a sharpie to make um, it more colorful if you so choose. Um, you could possibly wait for the end but you would have to be very careful. I'm going to probably color it to match um, the colors that's going to be in it. So now all I'm going to do is trim around here. You can choose to pull it off by hand or cut it. I think I'm going to start by cutting um, this big piece off and then pulling the rest by hand. You don't need to worry about uh, most of it because since it's tin foil, at least mine is, you can kind of crumble this down so you won't be able to see or feel the edges on it. So I'll be back in a second. If it tears a little bit, if you're using tin foil when you um, 
trim it. You can typically repair it like I did here by just hot gluing another small piece over it depending on how big your tear is or rare it is. Uh, so you don't need to waste a whole new um, toilet paper paper towel roll and wait for another one to be uh, emptied. So like I said this little bit you can typically be okay with then just cover it back up. Now for this step I'm using felt but you could use any type of fabric, duct tape, uh, any paint, anything that you would like to cover it. So what I'm going to do is try to zoom out so you can see this. Okay, that seems a lot better. So now what I am going to do is take this. And this is my sheet of felt. It doesn't have to be one of those long ones. Um, I'm using felt because felt is very cheap. So this one just happens to be black. Um, you're going to do it for every color that you want your Sharpies to be separated with. Um, this is a blue Sharpie, but that's just what I was using. Uh, I will organize it at the end. So you're going to take... I guess I should do it at this end so you can see. Going to wrap your felt as close as you want. Um, I would do a tiny bit of an overlay because then you could glue the rest down if you need to. So you're going to add a little bit of glue um, here, roll it up, and then add a little more here and just keep adding a little more as you're rolling it and I would do that and be back in a second. So now I have the initial uh, started piece glued down. You don't need to go wired with the glue, you don't need to glue it every inch or anything. I would just do the started piece of course probably in the middle and then the very end. So now I have my fully wrapped piece of toilet paper roll. So you can see there's some excess here. You don't need to wrap it completely up. You can save your felt for later. Just cover the, the roll. So you can cut this off and then my two bends here. So there's some excess here that you can cut off. And then depending on how good you are with scissors and at how much layer you have here, you can either cut this off or like I said, you can fold it down and glue it down. That's what I'm probably going to do just to play it safe. Just a little tip, this was my first time using my new fabric scissors that I bought to cut the felt because I had been having trouble cutting the felt with scissors. It is possible, but it's hard on your hand and this was only $3, I believe. And, well, it worked so much better. Um, so I only did this cut so far, but I just came back to tell you that if you can get your hands on a pair of fabric scissors, definitely use it if you're going to be using felt. So I just completed cutting everything off and then I glued down this back rim of felt. Uh, be careful with this step if you are a um, a kid, uh, if you're young, because you can burn your fingers pushing down these little pieces uh, with the hot glue. So now this side is also trimmed, but what I want to do uh, personally is I don't want you to be able to see this rim of toilet paper, so I'm going to glue down this layer of felt too. So that way it looks more put together like that. Um, I personally prefer this method as opposed to if you search like um, a Sharpie organizer tutorials, it's all buying wood or cardboard or styrofoam and measuring many different things and getting perfection and using a lot of tools to put it together. I think that this is fun, easy, and cheap, and for the most part, our kid can do it, and also our adults can have it for 
a nice room decor. So when you're done, you can also decorate this with stickers or embellishments or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to glue down this room and then be back. So my first one is now completed. I got this room glued all the way down and that room and it's completely secure. So now you're going to make one for every color that you intend to organize. Like I said, I know that that Sharpie doesn't match that color. Um, mine, I'm not quite sure how many colors I'm going to do. I already bought all the felt, but I haven't um, counted to see yet. So it's going to go down to how many I do, but I am most likely going to do mine in a pyramid shape. Much like that. Or I was even considering maybe doing it in like a square type thing. Like that. Um, with the one in the center being the longer one for their paint brushes. I'm not quite sure yet. You can fool around with um, how many you're going to use. And what shape you want to do. You could even do it in a heart maybe. Or a different shape. Um, or even the letter of your name in an issue. Um, but you're going to make one for every color and then what you're going to do is basically glue it down, uh, put a strain of glue all the way down wherever they're going to touch, whether it's on the top, a side, a bottom, wherever they're going to touch, you're going to put a strain of glue and then hold it together for a few seconds until the glue hardens. And then that's just how you're going to build whatever shape you're going to use. And then you're going to fill it with your Sharpies, pens, pincers, color pincers, markers, crayons, highlighters, whatever your heart desires. And that is it. And if you would like to see how mine will be turning out, you can follow my Crafty Amino page. And I will be posting my completed thing probably in a couple of days. Um, this shouldn't take you more than a few hours, but uh, tonight I'm not going to do another one. Um, so yeah, I'll post it in a few days. I think the original one might have been standing up and then glued together, but I want it to look more like, um, when you buy single Sharpies in a craft store or something. So I want my colors to be separated and I can just take one out and put it back in. So follow me if you would like, or like this video, or comment, and I will have more DIYs coming.